that happens, you're blown back, and the skull radiates with a red energy as the rubies seem to glow, and he cackles as he now floats in the air. And by this time, probably Florence has finally gotten her her spear out of the out of the body. See? Yes. Did, were you trying to, to see? <laughs> were you trying to see if it was dead before the spear hit it? <laughs> Probably, and he'll be kind of sorry for that. <laughs> Can we play? Can she check? Yeah. Um, it is yeah, yeah. a medicine check, right? I was. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess. The investigation. No, it would yes. be a medicine because it's checking someone. Checking if someone was laughing. I wish that was how D and D did the logic on their check system. <laughs> but it makes sense. It does. It's a forensic check. It's a forensics check. We're just gonna do it that way. It's a CSI my uh, so check. Just go for a medical check. That it's fine. It should be like I said. It's it's one of those things like that would actually make total sense. But that's not usually how D and D does their work. Okay, Since so... oh, you know, it has no place here. A 16 for the medicine? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look like this body was alive beforehand. Uh, okay, good. Okay, well, it's just fine. Damn. Good. So... At uh, which this? point I want uh, you to make a perception roll. Me? Yeah, uh, as well as a reflex check. I'm gonna try to grab the skull again. Okay. Yes, reflex. I mean, you can just try to grab him, but he's he, he, he floats a little backwards. He's like, oh. oh. Okay, I roll a. There you go. One, two. For Florence and a ten for. And a. Sorry, one more time. Yeah. She doesn't know what the heck was about to hit her, but she just could not dodge in time. That's yeah. Fine. So uh, you see that the suddenly uh, the body moves and grabs your hand. Hmm. I and mean, that's all it does, but it's now grappling you. Make a grapple check. Oh, why did you just say that it was an acrobatic? Well, because the original one wasn't. It gets like an automatic surprise, like. Uh, grapple because of the thing, but then you can resist it once it has grappled onto you. Uh, can she try to get out of that? Yeah. Uh, of course. It's an acrobatic. She gets advantage on it. 18. Alright, let's see what it gets. Yeah, no, you got out. You pulled it and the hand came off. Okay, yeah, no, creepy hour. Nope, nope, I'm good, I'm good. And, she's and then, uh, at, at which point the body itself is, like, gets, you just see it, like, disappear and is drugged through, like, dead leaves past the tree line. Yep. Or they ain't having any of that if she makes it back and out. But she's probably out of breath. She's good. Okay. And, and you, you come back to see a floating skull, uh, that is cackling, and I am trying to grab it. And I got a 22. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Looking at this, just... Oh god, what? yeah, you grab him and he's like, hey! Stop that! I still don't have full don't control float. of my movement system. Don't float. Mm. What happened? You what do you mean? I told you last time when you asked what would happen when you put the gem in. No, you didn't. I didn't ask about the gem. I just remembered it like yesterday. You re you asked about it last time. You had a dad. Well, one because I asked you to let me have it. No, that was the soul. This is the gem. I thought it was the hat. I want that too. No, it's no. It's uh, I don't want the soul. Keep that thing away from me. I mean, I'll oh, take wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say take that thing away from me? Yeah, keep it away from me. I hand the skull to Wedge and I go over to Florence. Wedge now has the skull. I go over to Florence and I say, give me the skull. And that 
can be a problem. <laughs> to see where she hit it that first time when she rolled the stealth because I was watching. Yeah, she did a bad stealth as you hear. She didn't even beat your first pass if I don't believe. Uh-uh, not with a 12. So you saw, you just kind of recall. You basically saw her hand something to Ursula and Ursula flew off. Just flew off. You actually dismissed and then re reappeared uh, with nothing in her hand. Florence. I don't believe that's how that would work. I believe if the familiar was holding something, you just missed it, it wouldn't take the thing with holding with it. I think he is right. I assumed you meant the, uh, when you were talking about a pocket dimension, I assumed you meant the other place we were hanging earlier. No, because I thought you can dismiss a familiar to a pocket dimension and... It's on the old dimension. Where it could be, you know, dismissed without uh, fully dismissing familiar. Florence, I thought you said you had. I thought you said I could handle this. I'm not doing that. I mean, it was he threw the spear, so I thought you were gonna hit me able to handle that little complicated. Now, which is very unpredictable. But we all know that I'm actually, I actually should be over here on this map. Yeah. We all know, we all know that you're the smart one. So really, yes, you should trust me. Then why I should question what it is I need the soul for and what are you planning? Hmm. Listen, the soul said keep that thing away from me. And I don't that's the soul. And that is... And what does that mean if he wants me to keep it away from him? Alright, I have, uh... Also watching what she was great as a plenty shit. I have consulted the documents, and I have consulted the experts, uh, and the ruling from Mike Merles, who is basically the only, uh, the only source I respect outside of wizards. Because <laughs> he used to be wizards, basically. But... But long story short, Mike Merle's uh, ruling says that you can have it, but that it does not stay permanently there. Of course not, no. No, it's like 3d6 rounds, it says, or something. That's about how long it'll stay before it de-apparates out of the pocket dimension, since it doesn't belong there. 3d6? Yep. Also, I did that 20 on stealing the, the skull from Wedge. 14. 14 rounds awesome. she has. This is gonna be real hard, but I mean, I, I don't even know how that's gonna work. Because Wedge is just talking to the skull at this point. And Florence is like, well, yeah. It's not like you can't do it. I mean, uh, the the thing is, like, you can maintain yourself, but now you gotta... So wait, that was not 20 to steal it? Yeah. Okay, you, you, you get it, but you he sees you. Like... That's the thing, it's one or the other, and, it, and because of the break, like, there's no way you can take it from him without him seeing it when it's, like, directly in front of his face. At least not without a, uh, a third okay, fine, argument. Fine. I just, it's like, I could, you, I just can't, like, justify as, like, oh, yeah, they just grabbed it, and then they were gone. That's a, no, 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 I feel it, and I get to seize it, and then we, if he complains, I'll kiss him. Very fair, I guess. I mean, because that's the thing. The sleight of hand and the stealth would allow you to take it, right? And you would remain stealthed until you grabbed it. But he's literally, like, ho holding it and looking at it. Oh, gosh. This, it, is, this is, like, small uh, girl. Uh, if he was alert, I would make you roll a, like, uh, grapple check to take it from him. But because you were, you know, super stealth monster... You know, you, you just snug up and it's just like someone grabbing your pants and pulling them down. You just, no time. <laughs> I, I, I also yell at Wedge and I say, hey, I want that ruby back. Uh, at which point him. the skull is like, it's mine now. And everyone roll once again who is in the range. Uh, but this time in the range of uh, Carly, roll a uh, reflex save. What, what I'm going to do in response to feeling the skull from me. 
and me now noticing that she's on me, I'm going to do Remember, she kissed me as soon as you noticed her. I, she I'm going to do a flip kiss. onto my back onto the ground, crushing her into the ground with my body. That sounds like a reflex race, uh, save on her part. And what is this? <laughs> and and he, um, one was on the right uh, was on the right mentality of being mean. <laughs> yeah, you should absolutely be able to roll a reflex save for that. Also, my reflex. Uh, Go ahead. Like a seventeen. I rolled a 17, I think, for uh, the original reflex, so reflex save. Do I have to roll again? Uh, I don't think you do. Are you guys still by Carly, or did Carly move? I'm over here by Florence. Yeah, so now it's Florence and Carly that have to make the rolls. You didn't have to make that first reflex roll, Diffy. So you... Okay, well then I use, uh, I use it on that. Okay, so... I'm questioning, wait a minute, how can I do it? Is there anything I'm rolling, Axel? Uh, no, you should be good. Because you're basically just dropping on your back. It's a very, it's not necessarily an attack or a, or anything skillful about it. It's just the natural falling of your body and then to determine whether or not she could safely get out of the way of that. Well, I did say that my character kind of like flips over. You know how someone like goes to roll. Oh, okay. Jump and flip over oh, well, then, then you would need to uh, make a, uh, like, an, I guess, an acrobatics roll? Because that's more acrobatic than athletic to like maneuver your body into the midair at least. Um, what was your reflex? Sorry again, Carly. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, you're good. Uh, for that first uh, reflex save, if you got better than a ten, you're good. Okay. Uh, at least. Eighteen for my acrobatics. All right, and what was your total, Diffy? Uh, my reflex was a seventeen, I think. So that was total, or was that just roll? I really I don't remember at this point. All right, well, we're just gonna have you reroll it. Then. Okay. You know. Ooh, yeah, I rolled like that. I guess ten. Alrighty, so I don't think this is gonna go the way she thinks it's gonna go, but it might. You know, Florence and Carly, I like. Yeah, but okay. So even if you can't keep it away from him, I feel like I'm really nice to listen to him and say keep it away from him. Why? Which was the game player on dead man look? Okay, like really. So you're wearing like, leather you're armor, correct, here. Michael? Uh, oh no, leather, yes. <laughs> He's gonna hurt himself. Yeah, you, you know, against the giant mechanical being that he's dropping himself onto. And not giant, but in the sense that it's a giant toy. Have you ever stepped on a toy? Oh, <laughs> God. As a Lego. So you're gonna go ahead and roll for me a, let's say a D6. Because I would make you roll a D6 for a fucking Lego, honestly, at least pain-wise. <laughs> And I don't, and I don't want to hear that shit because I've been stabbed before and that shit didn't hurt as much as a Lego. <laughs> There's a two so uh, you fall and you just take two bludgeoning damage. Did you smack? It? Oh wait, no, no, no. There's, he does have leather armor, so he takes half damage. He takes one damage as he falls on the thing, and then you need to roll a d10. Shit. <laughs> I just said one thing. Uh, pick high or low? Uh, I, it doesn't matter yeah. if I choose high or low because it's median. For oh, five. It does for this. It does for this one. High or low? Low, because I chose high last time. You de-age five years. Oh, what? Five years, so... I'm 43, I'm now 38. I, I also want to say that this happens like in rapid real time, so when this happens, like your beard grows or ungrows. <laughs> <laughs> just in real time, you just have now like a year's worth of hair. Just, ah, all right. So my hair is long as fuck right now. This one does not appreciate being. Like, over. I will say you are on top of her though, so she's kind of probably. And basically, what I'm gonna do after I flip over onto her, I'm just gonna cross my arms and lay there. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab Florence's arm and sort of link our arms together and start walking that way. No, no, Florence is Oh, that reminds me, I almost forgot about you guys. Yes, <laughs> Thank you and for you reminding me by speaking up. Yes, I was This one stick her fingers up his nose to just bother him. <laughs> I don't know if you can reach. I don't know if you can reach from there. Maybe. I mean, I'm right behind him. I have four arms, so I'm not sure one of them can. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she has a good point with the forearms. You know. Oh, you're not gonna like that. But both of you, uh, both of your clothing, uh, Florence and Carly, your clothing deteriorates into filthy rags. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Florence. Gosh, what the heck is going on? That was my face, the fingers and nose. He's like, I told you this is my ruby now. That was my third best outfit. Well, maybe you won't try Fix to it. say you're gonna take my ruby now. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. I don't know how I to fix it. When I say fix it, um, I I walk over and I pluck the skull out and I say, fix it now. And I'm intimidating. <laughs> All right, do your uh, do your intimidation. <laughs> Nemo, what? what are these random magical surges? They're too crazy for even me. Seven <laughs> plus uh, six is uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. That's the number. <laughs> He's like, well, I might be inclined to tell you. If I knew. Sis, random magic, what do you want from me? I still want to eat the soul. It well, sounds tasty. Well, I can pretty much tell you it's not from experience. I don't know about that one, but not that other one. I? This was my third best carnival outfit. Are you sure? Are you sure that it was even what you thought it was before? Ruby out of his out of his skull. Okay, you're gonna have to make a reflex <laughs> check. You know, Florence. Notice I didn't say roll. I said sorry. Reflex save. What's a save from reflex? Uh, dexterity. dexterity. Sorry. God damn it. I got. I will never get used to that. It was. Actual, it was so yeah, much was better. Three point five mine. No, it's five the feet. best fucking one. <laughs> uh, twenty two. Ooh, nice. So you saved, but uh, only from the force damage, which, uh, oh wait, no, I forgot. The save only gives you one point of damage. So you take one point of damage and you have to roll a d10. Yeah, well, Florence is like, okay, fuck something you're talking about. You don't have much time. 20. Ooh, nice. Wait, from a, two, sorry. Yeah, I was like, wait, a I, I was like, how did you roll? A f <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was like, nice. That's the best D10 roll I've ever heard. <laughs> um, uh, higher low. Low. So you lose 20 years in age. Oh God, I'm a teenager again. No, you're not. Oh, and you were, you were, uh, you were uh, 40. 44. Oh, yeah. oh, here's the okay. funny part. All right, so you lost 20 years in age, right? So now, uh, right after that, right, as soon as you take the damage and you age, uh, then your age is doubled again. Oh, you're 48. <laughs> I'm a half elf. That means like 15. Actually, actually, half elves still age at the same rate as humans. At least in D and D, they do. But I live to be 100, so it's fine. Okay, so you have a 20 year higher life expectancy than an average human. For 500? How long do you think a human lives? No, I said you have 20 years more than your average human life expectancy. Uh, a human only is able to live to 100. A human only able to live to 100. Usually, when you read the human, it says they average a lifespan of 80 years. Well, the one I read, it said it's 100. 
average or limit? Because there is a difference. Average. The average lifespan of a human in D&D is 80 years. No. I think it's... it's a... To the manuals! To the sacred texts! <laughs> out of here. This is why whenever there's an argument, it's like, alright, well, let's go see then. It's usually in the handbook. If it's not in the handbook, also, then Gary Gygax himself will provide us with the answers. <laughs> also, my hair got shorter and then longer again. Yeah, it did. Your hair got hella longer. It's like super long now. I think it's like I think I should keep it. To be fair, it was hella shorter before that, so it's really you know, it's really a trade off. Yeah, it was basically like a buzz cut before, and now it's like waist length. Twenty four years of you know hair growing and not cutting. I think you're gonna be at least past your ass and hair. Cool. Yeah, no, I don't What do you think? What is it? How does it look? I say to the skull. Uh, I like hair short. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get the ruby? Oh no, he blew you back. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, this is my ruby now. No. Got any other jewels you want to put in my face? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot him with the crossbow. He ruined my outfit. I he didn't make I my hair radical. It is. I made his hair uh, radical years ago, but he just never thanks me for it. Screw you! You just hear Donnie say from way over there. Ow! Yeah, I made his hair radical years ago. Never thank him for it. Asshole. Florence. Florence, darling. Oh, all right. So, here is the official ruling in the handbook. Humans reach adulthood in their late teens and live less than a century. Told you. Called it. I mean, like this. You said a hundred years. This is less than a century. What do you think a century is? It's a hundred years. That's yes, but it. You said less than a century. Yeah. But you said what? eighty as the average. When do half elves reach adulthood? In the same. Uh, I believe, yeah, would. yeah. I believe that's the same. Cool. Although half elves, let's look in here. They reach adulthood about twenty, and but they miss live much longer. Oh than lord. Humans. Ah, go back up. Often exceeding 180 years. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like 500. No, that's no. elves themselves have like four or yeah. 500 years. They live four or 500 years. Damn it. Yeah, they can yeah. live much longer than humans, often exceeding 180, but yeah. And then elves being the long standing, longest living of the base races. I mean, let's be Races. honest. They they're racist. They they they're supposed to be uh for lack of a better uh comparison, white people in D&D terms. If yeah. you were to classify races as instead races. Yeah. So Oh, wow, so they this is way different. Although elves reach physical maturity at about the same age as humans, the elven understanding of adulthood goes beyond physical growth to encompass worldly experience, and they don't claim adulthood until the or an adult name until the age of 100, and can live to be 750 years old in this version. So they're a little different than the old elves. In the old elves, they had a slower living process. Like, you took 100 years to physically mature. Damn. Well, I mean, they lived hundreds of years. The dwarves were the same back in the day. So they live an extra like hundred years, so their matru maturation process process meant that they weren't adults until like thirty or fifty for uh, dwarves and like a hundred for elves. Although, has the, has, sorry, has the soul come back? By the way, no, because we keep sitting here having a good, we're having a conversation with Florence, uh -huh. and then you got mad at the skull. To be fair, I mean time's passing that whole time. So yeah, it's probably been like six rounds minimum. Yeah. In which in, you still haven't at, and Florence still didn't get to finish her conversation of when the why did you hit the skull and really why should we give it to the skull after clearly now he has gone apeshit crazy so it talks into 
problem. It's not a good idea. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Tech so I mean, also the keep hasn't gone crazy. You keep that grab... soul away from me. <laughs> no. I... Can I? Can I insight check the skull to see why he or to see if he actually wants the soul to be away from him? Yeah. You know I'm holding the the skull, right? Like the we're having. And I'm the laying on top of you. It's all good. Oh, yeah. I thought I plucked it. I thought I plucked it and pulled on its eye. No. What? No, you went to go try to touch it, and it basically uh, force pushed you back there, and made yeah. you age twenty years. The the doll has the skull, and Wedge is holding the doll captive by laying on her. Uh, yeah, that, there was also all of that preventing you from grabbing it. And that insight is a 19 plus Yeah, I've forgotten three. that. I probably should have made Wedge and them roll that, too. But oh well. Pass is the pass. 23 total for insight. Ah. Um. Also, I stuffed that my fingers up with his nose. And I said Wedge was unfazed by the thing. It's just kind of like the uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, where uh, the blue gets... No, it was Reno. Gets the child's fingers up his nose. Just kind of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just sort of... Wa I'm just sort of staring down at this, and I just got, like, a what-the-fuck expression on my face. Uh, he looks at me like, yeah, no, don't want it. Not that one. Not this one. Mm-mm. I mean, not really. I mean, what else could she have incited? Yeah, I mean, I figured, but I mean, it's always worth checking. Yeah. Lots of stuff goes on in this adventure here, okay? Lots. Give the soul the skull. Give the to, yeah, give the soul to the Yes, give the soul to the skull. Just like the, I mean, the he, tree needs he, ownership of itself. He said, he said he doesn't want the soul. Yeah. And he's telling the truth. Well. So, he just made my third best carnival outfit into rags, and well, the skull is mine now, so you can't do this. Nice. I can give it a soul. Actually, it, it is this one. I forgot, she speaks in third person. I can give it the soul. I really don't think that's a good idea. Also, if you try it, I will age you 20 years again. How about we not do this? I don't want to be aged 20 years. Trust me, I'm already You're a CL. What are you worried about? That doesn't mean I like being aged up. And excuse you. I you toss can. my hair and I say, it's fine, I'm hot anyway. Damn right you are. Donnie's Did like, I've seen it? better. <laughs> yes, Who said that? Donnie. See, you know, I, I, how about you take your lover's quarrel somewhere else? We're still in the middle of nowhere. Speaking of, roll a perception check. All of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or investigation, your choice. Although, uh, it does. Although, please do let me know which one you use, because it matters. I'll use perception, and I'm going... It's a 13 plus perception. A 4 is 17. I decided instead of perception, we're gonna go with the uh, insight. Ah. That's what she said, right? Yeah. Or no, it should I be invested. Sorry, it should have been oh. investigation. Yeah, my bad. But I mean, you know, I think those go off the oh. same thing. With investigation, that's a total of eight. Okay. Uh, so um, wedge. Perception, I got sixteen. Okay, so wedge, uh, you you know your your view of reality starts to go kind of loosey goosey again. It goes back to like the haziness. So you see half of what is in the carnival and half of what was on the other screen. As for uh, everybody else... You see this person coming out from over here. Um... see that. Hey, Paz. Well, hello. Well, he's gonna wave. What do you mean, um, Paz? There's no Paz here. One Hush. second, Michael. I got something to send you as well. Oh, God. So I, I say, how are you today? Or 
as like a burlap dress. Uh, it's kind of burlap dressy. Um, then I should say, I am standing, standing beside Wedge, who is laying on the ground. On top of the doll. On top of the doll. Three. So, the doll nods on Wedge's ear. But I yeah, so past him, and she's like, hey guys, how's it going? Are you ready for today's show? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the reason I ask, right. and the reason I ask about the What do you mean? Well, back, what do you by mean, the way. Wedge? I haven't seen you in a minute. How, where have you been? Uh, I've been around. Why do you sound like Paez? What do you Wedge mean, sound like Paez? No. I, I remember what Paez looks like. You don't look like Paez. What does she look like? What do you mean, I don't look like Paez? I mean, you look like a giant shambling mound of flesh and earth. How silly. He's talking crazy. You guys should probably take him into his tent. No, no, I'm good. No, I, I think they should. He could be a danger to the carnival. You guys should let him get some rest in the tent. Absolutely not. Yes. He, they really want us to go to the tent. Wedge, Wedge gets up and kind of runs off. Back over here. All right, so as soon as you do that... <laughs> I need to. I need to grab some things that I don't think are here anymore. <laughs> I think I moved them. So I, I, I say to Paez, I say, you know, Paez, you know, I, you know, my mother, my mother died when she gave birth to me. But really, I've always fi pictured you as a mother figure for me. And uh, I'm gonna need another perception roll from you, Michael. Well, I appreciate that. Wow, he's off in a hurry, huh? Yeah. Uh, that's a 24 on my perception. Cool. And I say bring it in, and I offer a hug. And then I need that's one a, more. That's, that's, that's a really bad idea. You wouldn't do that. She looks like Paez to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Wedge did say that she doesn't look like Paez, just sound like Paez. But you know, no one listens to Wedge. Wedge is crazy, and he keeps getting nosebleeds for no reason. <laughs> Wedge is I, crazy. <laughs> I mean, Golden already answered that in a sense of humor joke. Yeah. I don't like this. Okay, I need this. Do you see anything weird around? Have you seen Gunter? Gunter? Did it so? Uh, you know, I haven't. Yeah. That's weird. I haven't seen him in a while now. You know, as soon as, you know, they, they, they made you leader, they disappeared. Isn't that strange? Don't you find that strange? I mean, some people might think you did something to them and took their position or something. Hmm. Do I have to pull the... Uh, gold uh, probably, yeah. What do I do? Are you trying to stealth it or are you just doing. Uh, uh, in which case, you just need to, uh, I guess, run after him. I mean, you just walk after him. But you can only go your your the move distance. I do that. So so uh yeah. Okay. Good question. So, what do Donnie and Cathar see? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Donnie looks at you and he's like, Yeah, nah, that's weird. Did you see that thing in front of you though? That's even weirder. Well, 
know what it seems like wedge was acting i mean he always acts strange i guess he's a little weird i don't know why we accepted him at the carnival it almost seems irrational but he's here and so as long as he's here we got to take care of him and make sure he doesn't mess things up poor unfortunate wedge but there's nothing else happening at the tents no not to my knowledge insight check um axel did you get my message as well as the wolf for that another 22 uh i did get that roll and you should be pretty good for that although uh one thing can i get carly to make a roll just a d20 roll sure thank you somebody's doing something could be could be uh, but i 18? just do that sometimes now to mess with you guys fair do that's an 18. an 18 you say uh-huh do 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 Anyway. Do I see anything? Why? Does, it, does anything happen? Why? Uh, no, nothing happens. You're fine. Go on. <laughs> um, but I still am on alert, by the way. Um, so I say, uh, the, the, was the 22 uh, insight for the tents? So a 22 for the tents, sorry? Yeah, a 22 for insight for Antaeus for the tents. Uh, so... Yeah, no, she seems to be pretty much telling the truth. Pretty much. Okay, pretty much. Okay. Well, I, mean, I don't see why we shouldn't go to the tents. Done. Or I'm trying to like, towards, um, Carly. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a cool out thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. But let's at least take Wedge with us because he has that bow. Maybe he'll actually hit somebody with it other than us. I mean, I would normally disagree with you now. Him. He's yelling about stuff going on with this place. Wedge! <laughs> Come here! No! no. Uh, yes, Donnie, I know. I know for a fact it's weird. I don't care what you see. Come on, we're going to the tents. And I'm not listening to what that flesh of mounded. At which point, uh, Troll, Troll looks over to you and he's like, Wedge, you doing alright? Uh, Paez, Paez has, has come over. Yeah, that's what's up. And then there's, uh, Steve the intern. And he's like, hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over back here towards Florence and I say, do they all look like... Roll perception! By the way, is this perception with advantage because of its magic? Uh, this one, that would be investigation for that one. Because investigation is what you <laughs> use to look past magic. And I'm gonna go ahead, how do I whisper in this? Slash W and then type the person's name. Well, with a space afterwards, but yeah. So slash okay, W space, but yeah. Hmm. Um uh Steve is just going to like look really hurt and be like what I'm a person. I know interns are treated like crap, but I'm not literally just a pile of garbage. <laughs> How could you 
say something like that. I thought you were one of the good people here. Gee, really? Whoever told you that was obviously lying, but then again, you're also lying because I thought you're a pound of flesh and earth. You're not real. Oh, uh, man. So we got Florence. Uh, Florence is the investigation. Yep. <laughs> they should both be good. Um, my perfect, my, uh, Perception is a seven. I mean, you see Troll and Steve. Just yeah, they look Steve. like Troll and Steve to me, so. Oh, hey, have you guys seen Danis? Clarence, what's up, Clarence? Oh, hey, it's Where? good to see you too, Trollo. Where's um, Clarence? Uh, that's what he calls me. I don't know why. Lots of people just call me Clarence or Donnie, whatever. He also thinks I'm a dragon. He's a weird guy. Hey, what's up? Yeah. It's good to see you, but why aren't you on your leash, Johnny? I told you I'm not wearing that leash. I'm not wearing that leash. You're gonna wear the leash, Johnny. I am not wearing that leash. Do I succeed, Axel? Succeed at what? So we should go, we should, okay. What do you see, Florence? What do you see these people as? <laughs> Florence kind of looks at you. Uh, how about I answer that at our tent? And I can give you a direct answer. You know, because, I mean, I'm starting to feel a little Florence is giving you this look that clearly says she is not, and there is no chill in her. Like, she's not, she's trying to make fun of her things, but she's just, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, Wedge is a hundred feet away, fuck. Wedge, come on! No, no, this is right. I would rather be taken by the guards than deal with this. Uh, one second, that reminds me. I need to message Diffy. Wait a minute. And then the voice looks over and told If you're saying something, I can't hear it. Like quietly saying, which languages do you know? You gotta look so side eye you, like not a bad side eye, but it's just like a I would really prefer to not be talking publicly. Okay. Okay. You're not bad. Um so okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not strong. You're not strong, I imagine. So we should go get the guy with the arrows. Go <laughs> get him because he does not listen to me. He probably hates my guts. Only because you're a sea elf. Racist. That's racist. <laughs> wow, that is so class. That is so racist. Florence, Florence, just help me out. Just this one time, just help me out. You said that about the last thing. No, I didn't. Florence looks at you like I'm not stupid. No, I would never think you're stupid, darling. And Make a deception like, roll. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I have the two best jokes. Uh, all right, sorry. It's like I put, I put my hand on her shoulder and I say, come on. And I pout. Yeah. Oh, man. Then I go and avoiding avoiding Paez, I go. Oh, why can I not select them? There I go. Okay, I go this way and kind of stay out of their reach and go over here and I just I just grab his arm and I pull him up. Wedge fights back and crawls over to Donnie and grabs onto his leg. No, I don't want to go. <laughs> 
Uh, what's happening with the skull right now? Just curious. I have it. Uh, but yes, but is it under wedge still? No, he no, ran off. No, Zuba was holding on to it. Okay, so where are you with the skull as opposed to him? I have, I ran up to him and I'm just watching him. And I was actually about to go uh, tap tap there there. All right, I was gonna say uh, a breakdown because no one believes him. The doll says that she believes, but you need to calm down. But you don't see what I see. I, I kneel in front of him and I put my hand on his shoulder and I say, just come with us. And then uh, at which point Donnie leans down, he puts his hand on your third shoulder and he says, <laughs> <laughs> and he says, look, man, reality is all just fiction and imagination. The universe is a swirling cosmos of destiny and, you know, popcorn. It's all good, man. This isn't what I'm here for. I was just hiding from the guards. At this point, I'd rather be in jail. Would I'm you? Talking. Would you? Yes. Yeah. Because at least I have a scary little fucking flesh about. Well, they're not really. It's tiny. They're kind of gigantic. They're like flesh about ours. The dog is going yeah, to put her face in front of his and be like, a lot of us are just pounds of dirt. <laughs> Let's go. Also, I had him come because I'm the Earth Ganassi. No. At which point, uh, yeah. He goes, no. No, Catharsis, that's not racist because he said it. No. What do you mean that's not how racism works? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hugging him, by the way. And I say, come on, we have to go, though. If you want to get away from the flesh mounds, we have to go. But. But Buddy, you're looking real bad, and they take a couple steps forward, just like, troll all this shit, he's like, are you alright? And Steve's like, yeah, man, you look kind of pale. Like a bucket. And I kind of start tugging him back. How dare you, Axel, that is horrible. The little Florin is a thing far away. <laughs> he was so godly at the end thing. Come on, Wedge, come on. Did, 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 did no one else catch that pun that Axel made? That was I absolutely awesome. loved it. I loved I, it. I can't say. Wedge, please, please, you, please do it for the big then. Why do you love it? So I kind of, I kind of try to pull him to his feet. Uh, he clings hardly one to Donnie. <laughs> Hug you, damn it! Come on! I feel like Donnie's just like looking at you, kind of like me. It's <laughs> like, what is this thing on my leg? Meanwhile, Catharsis is just the doll the says, if you do it for super this happy. One, this one maybe will possibly give you the skull back. The what? Don't give me back to him. His hands are sweaty. I said maybe possibly. <laughs> ah, I see. You were lying. I whisper something to Wedge. Are you sure about that? Think back carefully. This really try to remember. Did you, Jacob? Oh, of all kinds of memories. Incidental thing, but I let it happen because it was hilarious and it worked for my plan. Although my evil plans That's never tend to work. I try to pull him to his feet again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm still on high alert, so he doesn't try to steal from me. Which wouldn't steal from? By the way, quick question, Axel. Um, so, I see what the reality of it. Does Elsa look like that is actually what it is? Quick question. To see actually what what is the uh? Uh, the gold, like the gold that she got from last session. It was 
Is that actually really gold or is it? Oh, look, someone finally checked. Checked their gold yet <laughs> well, I, to see if it's been real. Checking, I was checking. I asked you. This is uh, the first time you've pulled up gold. You've checked other stuff, but uh, no, not gold. No, I checked the gold. I don't remember checking the gold. I said it twice. Is it okay. really gold? I would like also to check my gold in my various pockets. Sure, roll for your gold. And then I guess roll for yours, Jewel, but I'll have to go back through the screw later, because luckily I do record everything, so. Uh, what, are we, what are we rolling? Perception? Yeah. Uh, 14 plus 4 is 18. 14 I mean, your gold looks real. That's not good. I rolled a 13 on my perception. Your, your gold looks real, too. <laughs> Damn, I'll have coincidental. All, all of it. Yeah, man, it all looks real. I have 93. Unless you looked at each piece individually. Which is funny, because Wedge came here with no gold. Yeah. <laughs> and he has 26 gold now. Hey, some of the gold here you guys got was real. Or maybe your perception was not good enough to see if it was real or not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is getting torture. Oh, it's awesome, though. Is Azuba following us, by the way? Let's hope. Azuba doesn't leave uh, Wedge's side. Okay, I so we go to I, I forgot I had control of. Uh, which, by the way, Paez turned the calls out one last time while waving three of her six arms. Have fun! Screw you, you non payas fucking thing! You get demoted! You can't demote me, I demote you! Now you're getting your pay docked, and then you're getting actually docked. Fucking docked! Oh damn, some people like that though. Yeah, I don't think Wedge is one of those people. <laughs> Donnie says. <laughs> <laughs> See? So let's just head back to the tent, try and escape this carnival. <clears throat> yes, Floyd. I just got the motion to the side group. Um, hey, I'm still standing right over there and probably could hear us very much clearly. Screw you, non pairs Okay, Paz, we're going to the tents. After that, we need some privacy to prepare for the show tonight. Bye. Yeah, yeah. We'll be there sharply at 7. Be prepared. Okay, bye. Bye. You be prepared, you done, Paz, motherfucker. Boy, I'm just gonna flick and do what the mage hand wants. She's actually using mage hand for that. Dang. Right, and so we're going through the forest then, back to, uh, back to our side of the carnival. I yes. Stealthily. And I will also stealth. That's a good point. Wedge is too paranoid to stealth. I, I smack his arm and I'm like, stealth, stupid. <laughs> just, just, just. I did not do good on stealth. That is a 11 total? Yeah. What the f 
was I thinking? I don't even know where this map came from, but it is insanity. Okay, that is comical that Ursa did better stuff than me. <laughs> Paranoid Wedge got a 23 on stealth. He wants to hide <laughs> from everything. I, I got a 20, the dirt 22 on stealth. Very nice. Very nice. Wedge kind of blends in with the earth and crawls across the ground. <laughs> Dear Lord. I'll take it. Okay. So we head over to this tent. Stealthy. Yeah. Alright, so just curious. We're heading to our performance tents, right? Not our living quarter tents. Uh, I assume living quarter tents. Where do you guys want to go? I would assume the same. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Let's do living quarter tents. Yay. This is going to be great. Oh, wait, I just thought of what's going to happen, because... Why can't you them not go away? Nope. Well, I did catch that before she went to bed. Yeah. That was an interesting but easy to fix. <laughs> that was an interesting but easy to get by solution. Yeah, they don't work. They're not dead with me. Not at all. And, like, a beneficial. Like, a benefit. Better from that. Hey, what did I do to you? What didn't you do to her? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Carla Fair. didn't show Florence a good time. <laughs> Yet. Give it time. Dun dun hey. dun. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Not on my Christian Minecraft server. Whoa. <laughs> So, uh, you guys come back to the tented area, and I bet you might guess what you'll have to do! Perception! Perception roll. Don't be 20. Alright, uh, well. That's 20! Oh, wow, then. Where's all the things? Like, so much business! Uh, I got a, uh, and total of And I was at a 90. Man, you guys are all good, good perception ten. rolls. That's good. Except for Diffie. Yep. All right. So, which so for Diffie, you get to see. It looks like we're in a a nice forest. No, I said you. You think we're at the tents? Pretty much. Uh, for everybody else, uh, I believe we're over here. So what are we looking for over here, guys? Hmm. This is a completely different forested area. It is. Is that a lake? It's more like a pond. What am I seeing in the pond? You're in the pond. You're gonna be all muddy. <laughs> yeah, it took you a second to realize you were in the pond. Ooh, which reminds me, tonight I'll have to cut it uh, at 8.15 or so, guys, so we got another 30 minutes, but just because I gotta go do something for a while. It's not too long, but I gotta go do it, so. Okay. So. But, uh, yeah. So were your legs, like, turned to mud in that pond? No. But I thought you were made of earth. More like a rock than a... I... I look like marble. But it still acts as flesh. I'm just... No matter what I do, I'm just usually... Slightly dusty looking. You dusty bitch. Can I poke, Can I poke a shoulder? I poke a shoulder. I walk towards the pond. Why? Why? Why are you poking me? I mean, it's not like I don't like it, but why are you poking me? And you mean, before she checks out the pond, she's like, well, at least if you heard what I said earlier, 
players that Jesus can have just a lot a lovely quarrel and have a moment. Don't don't have what to the Why would you suggest such a thing? Honestly. Speaking of, you guys and do see somebody in the distance. Yeah. Who? Where? In the south. To the south? Uh, you know, if we're just checking out the water. You know, I'm gonna do something I haven't really done. Ah! Fucking Jesus Christ. Except for that one. Sorry, that one's not there. It's the, a cat. Cat, the cat showed up again when he's not supposed to be here. He got copied from the other page. I'm, I'm gonna do something I haven't really done even though I should have been doing because it's part of my class. I'm going to do a survival check to check the area of the tracks. If anything has been around here recently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone remembered the forest. <laughs> now you guys, I, I kind of let you skip past the forest a bit because you can see with real eyes now. Uh, that's a 22 on my survival check for tracks in the area. Uh, I mean, it looked to be tracks going around. There's actually quite a few, surprisingly, but, you know, the, there seem to be large ones, medium ones, and some really small ones. All right, I guess I'll do an investigation to determine what kind of tracks they are and what they belong to. Okay. Meanwhile, Florence, like I said, is going to check out, you know, that's a 15 on the uh, investigation with the negative one. So you're not sure about a couple, but you do recognize some as like elephant tracks and one is like a giant's footprints. Oh. I'm just poking various parts of, of Wedge's torso trying to see if it actually feels like flesh or if it actually feels like rock. Well, don't poke his abs. You'll never learn. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, um... Uh, while Florence is checking out the water, it doesn't feel like real water. Uh, uh, so you get a good idea of what kind of rock the pond is. Uh, go ahead and use your perception. Yeah. I'm starting to think this is where things are just getting better and better. There you go. Oh, nice. So, I mean, it seems to be a pond, and it definitely seems to be real. Uh, there seems to be some life in it, but not much. Just minor oh, pond okay. life. Well, is pond real? Huh. I don't know how far it goes. And I mean, I could check. But it would take me a bit of time. Hmm. And I don't trust the people. I also don't think we have a lot of time if you look to the south. No! Katharis, you cannot ride whatever those are. Which one is going to look down the way that they are hiding? Or at least referencing south? So you, they're the elephants there is the, kind of the, the, the main issue I'm talking of here. Well, I would suggest you guys, you know, I didn't on, but, um, I don't know any of you can breathe for a full breath for a long time. I think Wedge might melt too. Yeah. Oh god, no. Oh no, 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 no. Anywho. Yeah, and I mean, I can swim and I can tolerate it, but this is getting a bit much. So the water's real? Mm -hmm. Real as this is gonna get. Hmm. situation do we just leave you know how and where do we leave where's the entry point or the exit point rather i don't know and that's our question because 
if we don't know where the entry and exit point is, um, we are running into some serious issues. Ha! Huh. That's the skull. He, he okay, just... do you do you have an idea, Mr. Mr. Headless? Nah, I think it's just funny that you guys are fucked. I think that means I'm fucked too. What do you mean we're fucked? I mean, you don't know the way out. Do you know the way out? I know. I'm going to go I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I did know a guy who knew. Who knew? I don't know who. But maybe I can remember if you, uh... Give him the soul! Give me the soul. No. Give me the soul! No! So you want the soul now? Yeah. It, was, it does not make sense. Look, I don't want the soul, but I might need the soul. Why would you need the soul? Because of... Hmm. <clears throat> no reason. Continue it. Continue that statement. I swear to God, I will throw you into this pond and never speak to you ever again. I just don't do it. I'll float away again. Well, that's good. I'll go back to the tent. I'll wait for someone else to show up. I'll tie you to a rock and throw you in the pond. That's what I was just going to think. I'm going to make you get old again. <laughs> I'm going to make you lick my nuts. <laughs> All right, roll, roll, roll a reflex save. <laughs> Like y'all are doing me. <laughs> oh, reflex save. Come on, baby, give me something good. Uh, that's a 19 on my reflex. You save and take one point of damage, and then roll 1d10. And you want me to choose high or low? Yep. You get the idea. You know what? I'll choose low. I rolled a five. Well, you lost another five years, my friend. Yay, let's see here. How old was I before? <laughs> well, you gained nine, then you lost four or five, and then you lost five again. Uh, so you you're five. almost your original age. Okay, so I'm younger than what I originally was, so I'm 33 now. You've lost a year's so knowledge now. <laughs> I mean, does he ever gain knowledge as he ages? No, nah, not this oh, one. Ouch. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's uh, but so in, cool. in addition, uh, your well-toned abs now look—they're still like all functional, but they look pudgy. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, you? Yeah, he hit you where it hurt. Yeah, <laughs> This is also a custom spell I made for that guy. You will never guess the name of it. So, I go, I walk a up a little closer to the skull and I say, and I say, so maybe, maybe there's something else that we can do to convince you. What else do you want in return for this information? All right. So I want the soul, but I need that hat. Why? That's the source of my power. Insight check. The same for flowing. 19. Okay, yeah, you're not telling the truth. That's a lie, though. Okay, I just really like that hat. The cane is actually the source of my power. Yeah, you don't have any way to wield it. Put me on the cane! You want, you want us to shove, shove the cane up your neck hole? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds <laughs> nasty. <laughs> it does, but it... Yes! All of your hard work for nothing! <laughs> <laughs> You'll hit the gym and they'll be like, he doesn't even lift, bro. <laughs> You're all uh, but he looks, he says, look, I I'll be honest with you, because I have a feeling if I don't, we're never getting out of here. It would be great. Very much appreciative. We're all very. Most of us are very stupid. We don't get it. So 
So here's the deal. Whatever this thing is, I'm not strong enough to fight it. Yet. No, no, just period. I mean, you worth it. Now uh, says the guy who can't even survive his head being pulled off. And not all of us are fucking liches, you asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses. But anyway. Um, you know what? I've done so nice that if I turned into a lich, I would at least get to keep quiet from these guys. Yeah, you'd figure, but no. That is false. That is false. Can, can, can a ranger become a lich? Anything can become a lich if you take enough classes in wizard and die. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that one actually came from Donnie. <laughs> at which point the lich skull stares like angrily at him. And he's like, "That's not how it works." And Donnie just shrugs and he's like, "Me." No, 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 it is. I'm gonna kill that cat. You touch the cat and you die, skull. So, yeah, no, these guys. We're not working with. But we're working with at least a decent. But, here's the thing. I'm not strong enough to beat this thing. Alone. In fact, so I don't think we're even I don't even think we're strong enough to escape alone. So, what you're saying is, we give you the cane, you help us all escape, and we all live happily ever after. That's not quite- that's not quite as simple as that. I wish it was that simple. I know. Once again, well, I'm well, not strong well, enough. Well, we need well, some help. <laughs> Well, I can, kind of, but I need that soul. So, you need the skull. The soul. The, the soul and the cane. The cane's for me, the soul is for something else. I need it, What's but I don't want it near me. What's the soul for? Exactly. It's not what it's for and who it is. Who is it? I'll give you three big guesses. Zathras? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Zathros, Zathros, and Zathroni. Big got boy it. got himself compressed into a soul, apparently. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wedge is still doing crunches. Can't compress that into a soul, though. <laughs> so let me get this straight. The person that is the, I'm guessing, the evil person. So he was the, I'm guessing, a cleric, some form of something. I mean, yeah, he's with us. Yeah, he was. By the way, Mr. Skull, you never answered me when I asked you who you actually are. Oh, I'm Degenerate. I told you like ten times, you won't believe me. Yeah, see, see, and, and we're working with not much up in his area either. But we're I insight, I insight check the skull, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I don't even notice anything. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, he's, he's, he says, you know, I've been telling you that I'm goddamn generic and you don't believe me. I mean, sorry, you know, you know, go ahead. I mean, it's hard to believe a lot of stuff, especially given our circumstances. I mean, that's but, fair. You guys left me in the tent earlier, so it's not like it's that easy. But Florence, what say you? Should we give him the soul? Just don't. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. I need the soul, but I don't want it near me. Let me, can I ask, are you, you're not going to eat it, right? No, that would be bad, I think. I don't know what that would actually do, but I'm assuming it would be bad. And I've lived a really long time, and I'd rather not die from eating something like that, like an idiot. Looks over yeah. at Wedge suspiciously. Florence is just nodding in agreement while we were giving Wedge a smug ass look like, thank you, thank you for having the common sense to tell someone that we need, do not, should not eat something that looks like a delicacy. I mean, they do look delicious, but they taste awful. And here's the thing, I wouldn't mind a regular soul, but let's just say that a divine cleric of the highest rank might not settle so well in my stomach. Yeah. I swear to God, if you try to eat it, I am not going to waste any form of magic that I'm now, here. Now, here's the thing, we might have to have him eat it. Also, I thought I took the cane. I took the cane and I took the hat. Jar. Okay, I okay. didn't know where the cane was. Yes. I know you had the hat, but I didn't know where the cane was. It, 
looks quite dashing on me because I have it on my long hair and my little top hat and I look hot. Damn right you do. Hush you. And like I said, Lauren has just uh, has already stated the obvious with that. But I'm not gonna keep doing that. Um Lauren's is like, okay, so anyway, if you do not eat the soul. No. And uh Well, I don't want to eat the soul. Of course. So what do you plan on doing with it? Well it needs a vessel. A vessel. Yes, a, vessel. a willing and ready vessel for a soul of what is essentially a cleric of the highest order. Now, will that actually kill a wedge? Yeah. I say over his yelling. You see him give the closest approximation to a shrug that he can do, and then his eyebrows raise, which is weird, because obviously, once again, no eyebrows. Mm -hmm. So let me get this straight. If you let him either, he becomes a vessel, and then what? Because only, I'm guessing, only one body, one soul did. Not necessarily. No, nope, one body, two souls. I've read about it before. Granted, it is a work of fiction, but still. You can read? I'm right? That's the biggest that. work of fiction here. down and cries. Yeah, you keep doing those crunches, you muscle head, the skull says. He's like, now let me continue my story. Well, don't cry, it'll make me feel bad. And I pat him on the head. I mean, he deserves it a little bit of, um... Yes, I, I have to agree. <laughs> but, uh... Wedge, like, Wedge raises his little finger towards Florence as he still does crunches. I'm still patting his head when he comes up. <laughs> like, when he... Aw, he does a gesture. Cute. But when he comes up to me, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Lord is just, just, just sitting there saying, aww. He, he, he tries to insult me, like as if that actually insults me. Like when he reaches the top of his crunch, I pat him on the head. Each time. Nice. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, you were saying, Mr. Hi. Generax? The Generax. That's me. Yeah. So I think, and don't quote me here, I think he might be able to do it, maybe. I mean, I don't know. He, here's the thing. Theoretically, the two souls have to fight for control, but they both exist in the same body. Yeah. There are some small side effects and some big risks. But it's not like it's impossible. Okay, but here's the bigger question. Say after this is all said and done, could say someone revive him? Like in a wish or a snub of nature? Ah, you, you remember those side effects we talked about? Yeah. Yeah, one of them is if you die with two souls in your body, you can't be resurrected. Oh. So you can't even revive. Nicer person here, a cleric. Yeah, he's also at risk for this one. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be able to ask one person if they're still around. Who? Well, when I was young, she was. Well, when she was young, I've never been young. But when I was young, she was the most beautiful woman at the carnival. Lies. Shut up. She had beautiful eyes that I loved to stare into for hours at a time. Until oh, one no. day I, uh, I became a lich and then I had no eyes to look into her eyes. But uh, she could always tell what was going to happen. She just knew. It's been a long time. I, I not knew remember we should go her. back and visit her. Oh, I knew we should go back and visit her. Who? What? Wait, what? Hold up. <laughs> what? I know who. Lies. Okay, we'll circle back to that later. Um, weird. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to circle back to that. You do have your lover's quarrel somewhere else after we're done.
Yeah. At which point, uh, you see these guys come up. We gotta go to the fortune teller. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we gotta go back to the we gotta go back to the evil side of the carnival to find a, the fortune teller. Yeah. And they're just they're just okay. They're not like charging us or anything. Nah, this guy's walking up to you now. He's like, Bruh. oh, is this girl dog? Hello. Hello. What is he speaking? You don't remember what uh what he speaks? He speaks. No. He doesn't speak with any vowels. Oh right, sorry, sorry. Uh, so I so, so I say so I say oh. Wow. There's no bells. By the way, um, quick question. Yes. Um, since Lawrence checked out that scroll, that scroll that she had picked off of the fake, you know, uh, yeah, of course, yeah, uh, the the um scroll that had the scrolls of runes on it. Yeah. Does it still show it? Is there still any scrolls of runes? It does seem to be. And um, was she going to take it to Xanthro, uh, uh, Zanthros? Like Zapdos, uh, not Zapdos, Generax. Uh, Generax. Um, anyway, she's gonna gotta show it to him. Um, do you have any idea what this entirely does? I'm sure. Uh, that looks to be one of Zapdos's exploding runes. I thought so, but I wasn't sure, and we may have looked at it also to say someone else was going to put it back at some point, but, you know, it's time to, you know, copy it for the sake of curiosity. And I say, I say to Lug, I say, what, mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm, which is, we mean no harm without vowels. Yeah, wasn't that fun to translate? <laughs> I had to write it down. <laughs> Which, uh, we'll, we'll have you roll a simple perception check for that. <laughs> Here's the fun part is, is this is a fun roll, because it's the lower you roll, the better it is to understand him. Come on, look! Ooh, 19. <laughs> Um, you think he said, uh, something about to know, or no? Wedge is gonna do a perception check on this. I thought, uh, wait a minute, wasn't it originally an intelligence? Like, straight? Oh, that's right, it is an intelligence. Oh, straight intelligence? Oh, I am so rolling this on Wedge, he has a negative one. <laughs> Well, I remember this conversation. Yes, it was. Oh, Sorry, you gotta remember, it's been more than, what, fucking a month since... This is the 11th stream... No, this is the 10th stream in this adventure, so... Yeah, we're not I smart. Rolled, I rolled a 5 on my intelligence to understand him. Oh, uh, you think he said good something no? Good to know, probably. But then again, this is foreign stocky out of <laughs> That's right. Being smart enough, stupid enough to understand the words he says means you're not smart enough to understand what he's trying to say. You need three interpreters to translate for Lula. There's a reason he's chilling. Also, I like how no one's perception to see if Glug is real. Oh, no. I don't know if see if Glug is real. Or investigation, obviously, you know. I already said perception. That is, is that a seven or a two? Oh, uh, the perception was a nineteen. Okay. Uh, we'll so. go with what her is, because I'm pretty sure that's a two. So I mean, it all looks good. Everything looks good to you. Um, as for Florence, and I don't know what Michael rolled. If he's gonna look, 
but uh, I suppose Wedge can look. He's seen that. some fucked up shit today. Yeah, he doesn't need any more, but I'm gonna give him one. <sighs> so you said either perception or insight? Yes. Investigation. Or investigation, oh. yes, not insight, sorry. I think they run off the same role, but no, no, they don't. Rough. Yeah, they don't. What is insight then? Insight's intelligence. What's investigation? Hard way, no. Yeah, I was about to say, because okay. investigation. <laughs> there we go, okay. That's what I was, I was like, I, th I thought that uh, investigation was uh, intelligence. I figured that that would be too, but I guess wisdom makes sense. Just yeah, no. So I'm holding a uh, 15 on my investigation to see if actually glug glug. Hey, it looks like glug glug. Huh. So, uh, but for Florence, uh, <laughs> glug glug looks like glug glug. Elephants, not so much. Carly says, Will go no. Which means we'll be going now. shoving wedge and pulling at Florence to get us to move away from them. And I I I just look at Wedge and I was just like what? Just move. <laughs> it's not me gonna double back. Let's get Fortune teller? No! Yeah, no! 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 Stop freaking out, Cathars! What's up with the cat? Ah, he freaks out when he sees stuff. Uh, what do you see? Well, I don't know. I don't have cat vision. Uh, Florence says, I don't know. I have an idea what it might be. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about this. Let's just talk about this. And Florence kind of. I'll usher you towards where the fortune teller is. You lead the way of where the fortune teller is. Like, this is like an earlier conversation. What are you just doing now? Uh, Celestial, Common, Elvish, and Slaven. Great, great, great. And Florence is like, okay, I can, I can, I can work with that. I can work with that. At which point uh, you have two more visitors come up and say hi. I'll do a perception check on both of them as well. Same. That's, that's a total of 24 for me, because we rolled a 19. That's a 21 for me. 20. Oh, cool. You guys all see. Uh, so, Paez is real as fuck. Uh, Donnie, not so much. Quack, at which point, uh, Donnie goes, Impasta! What? Pasta? Mmm. Stuff. Yes, eat it. Put it in your mouth. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I can see that's not actually pasta. I, pasta just sounds good right now. But it is pasta. He's gonna try to convince you it's pasta. No, it's not. No, yeah, no, no it's not. He rolled a five. <laughs> uh, at which point we are uh, we are kind of nearing the time, so I might uh, I might call it here because we're moving back onto another map, basically, mm -hmm. to go find Jenny Cataracts, I assume. No, we're gonna go find the fortune teller. Yeah, Jenny Cataracts. <laughs> that was. Oh name. right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we leave off on the note of Florence very much conspicuously in Celestial tell her what she saw.
And celestial, celestial sounds like singing, by the way. It but does. You hear beautiful singing voice. It's pretty much required. That or they whip you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was talking about uh, Catholic school. Damn Catholic school. <sighs> Still have nightmares. No, I'm just kidding. So but what are they then if they're not really elephant? If one just gives you a look like a mildly terrified look, like you don't want to know. It's nightmare fuel. It, I was, I'm starting to think I see what like you're talking about earlier. But at the same rate, you didn't need to yell. He's a very sensitive boy. Yeah. Are you sure he's a boy? <laughs> know. Have you perceptioned enough. to be sure of your gender? And to be fair, I haven't actually seen anything, so he's a very sen he They are very sensitive, Earth and Ozzy. Uh, I just love that that idea. Is like, have you perceived to see if your gender is what you thought it was <laughs> before? <laughs> Plus, he's being. Plus he's being kind of weird. Yeah, but it, it's warranted. It's, it's, it's been a long time. Uh, uh, don't judge me. Speaking of tiny, the other Donnie goes, quack. That's really creepy, guys. I've never had, I've actually never been on the other end of that. Of what? Oh, nothing. Quack. <laughs> Wait a minute, what did Donnie look like to, uh, to the people that got a 20? Which Donnie? The little one? Yeah, yeah that, 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 uh, that, that don't, that looks like, uh, it really looks kind of like a wash, walking duck-shaped mushroom, if I had to explain it. <laughs> but it, it, but it generally facsimile is like an actual, uh, what Donnie would look like. It, it, it has its own little, like, mushroomish hat. It has white mushrooms for eyes, a little red mushroom bow tie. Did we take acid? Are we on LSD right now? You know, the part is the acid trip started before I actually took acid before writing this. <laughs> How crazy is that? That tracks. It's like the D&D &D acid trip inspired my real life acid trip. <laughs> so, Lauren is definitely assuring you that to go on. Yeah, no, 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 but yeah, that's the conversation of Lauren explaining what the heck is going on. Mostly in part, it's just things. Yeah. And yeah. then we'll end on that, I suppose. Yeah. You know, I'll, uh, we're just hearing singing and things is Carly, but really it's Lauren. I'm having a conversation. It's both of us. We're both talking in Celestial. Yes. You know, this one's actually going so well, I might design this one and turn it into a module. <laughs> it's just, it was just such fun to write, and it's going so well. Do it. <laughs> it's a lot of work, though. Yes. There's so yes. many pages. What are you guessing? I'm still on alert, by the way. I'm still on alert. <laughs> <laughs> At least you've been staying on it. What the heck did he take from Florence now? Uh I would have noticed. Well, you would have at least had to roll against it. Yeah. But maybe you did. Maybe I did. Remember all those random perception rolls? Oh, come True. on, buddy. Come on. I know for goodness sake. Florence has definitely would pay attention after. Well, then you probably should have made her pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Carly's been saying like three or four times an hour to make sure when she doesn't steal her stuff. But yeah, you probably you probably. So that's a consistent a that's a consistent action. I know because I used to live with thieves. That is a okay. consistent act. You must always be on guard. And then when you drop your guard to like make breakfast, you gotta put it back up as soon as you're done making breakfast. And you should try to keep it while you're making breakfast. <laughs> That's all. That was okay. it. Yeah, it's like you guys just assumed he was stealing something, but he was just talking shit. 
this is the look, this is the look that, that Carly gets. I'm putting it in the Discord. Oh, um, gosh. Meanwhile, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I? Why am I getting hushed? Why am I getting hushed for? Well, she asked me a question earlier, and that's what we're in. I'm answering. I'm sorry if it sounds like whatever you think it sounds like. I mean, it still sounds like singing, but he just likes Carly singing more. Racist. <laughs> you and we've already. <laughs> that's, that's her look. The question marks is me. Like, buddy. Ooh, mm. like, no, no, no. Oh yeah, I'm glad I ended up there because we're slowly pulling up. That's just too funny. But yes, yeah, we'll, we'll pick up on the walk to Jenny Cataracts' house. Meanwhile, Florence is like, what the heck are you? That is very much confused. That is very much. And I think we'll tell all the people at home, thank you for watching and end the stream there. <laughs>